Hi, welcome to day 20 of Light the World. Hashtag Light the World. If you haven't gone to look at that yet, definitely go see it. You can go to the website or just go to Google and put in hashtag Light the World and you'll find all kinds of stuff about it. But really, it's just about finding a way each day to serve in the way that you best can or in a way that you feel like you want to or in a way that somebody needs each day from December 1st to December 25th and really put an emphasis on that. I know that it's made a big difference in our family. Jackson, how would you say that Light the World has made the biggest difference in your in the last few days or last couple weeks? Um, it's cool how every time we don't know exactly how we're gonna do our video and it's like really late at night, we always say prayers. We, sometimes we say like five prayers every night <laughs> and my mom will be like, let's say another prayer. We're like, another one? Like, yeah, and we all go down and say a prayer, and every time God gives us an idea, it's kind of like when God asks us to do something, it's like we're stepping into the darkness, not knowing exactly how to do stuff, and then the light guides us, and God opens up the way for us to accomplish what we're trying to do, and that's just really special to me. No doubt, no doubt, and you know, when you decide that you're gonna do something, when you make a commitment to do something that's good and something that is about light, the darkness will try to take over. Um, sometimes maybe you felt that in your life where you, you try to do something right, and, but there's something that keeps pulling at you to, to not accomplish that thing or try to discourage you. And so each day, of course, there's always things that come up and sometimes we do end up at late nights and sometimes we have a plan and that plan doesn't work out Sometimes we have to change that plan. You know, that's the way life is and that's the way it's been with this. Um, and so, uh, you know, one thing about light and darkness is that darkness cannot occupy the space of light. Light cannot occupy the space of darkness. When there is light there, there is no darkness. The darkness is cast out. And so, um, you know, one thing that we can do in our lives is as we begin to serve others and bring light it brings light, to, light into our lives. The more light we cast on others, the more light is brought into our lives. And of course, we're talking about the light of Jesus Christ. When we talk about Christmas, Jesus Christ is the reason for the season. He is the one that lights our lives. And this, this next song is one of my favorites um, of Christmas time. It's O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. And specifically the lyrics state that disperse the gloomy clouds of night and death's dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. I know that Jesus Christ will come to us. He will come to us and he will disperse the gloomy clouds. And although, you know, sometimes in our lives we go through things and we go, man, why is Jesus not, why is it not being taken from us? But when we have his light, it helps us to see it in a whole new way. And I've seen that in my life. And I've seen times where he's been able to show it to me in a different way. I've seen times where he's been able to take it from me and to put a, cast a whole new light on my life. I'm grateful for the Savior. I'm grateful for Jesus Christ and this wonderful season. And these last few weeks have been great for us because we've been able to really focus on that light and has brought his light into our lives. So hopefully you enjoy this song and think of those things in your life right now where he can come in and dispel those gloomy clouds and bring light into your life. Oh, come. 
thou day spring come and cheer our spirits by thine heavens here disperse the gloomy clouds of night and death's dark shadows put to flight rejoice Shall come to thee, O oh, yeah.